Hey guys, what's going on? I uh, just want to give a quick video here for uh, any for you guys that might know. Uh, Pinball FX released uh, five, one, two, three, four, five new tables today. And I'm just going to make this video here to show you guys how you're, you're able to add these tables to Popper. Because there's not going to be an import file ready yet. So the way you get around that is what you're going to do is you're going to create a folder and name it whatever you want. I, I named it uh, Zen Folder. That's, that, that's the actual name of it that I, that I made. I just put it on my C drive. All right. So all the way at the bottom down here. There's my uh, Zen folder. See, it's all at the bottom. So it's very easy to find, right? It's always there, blah, blah, blah. All right, so in that folder is where we're going to put text files for the games that we make, we're adding. So let me just show you right here in a uh, popper what I mean. <clears throat> Let me close this. All right, so in Popper, all right, you have your emulators, okay? You can go on Pinball FX, okay? So here's Pinball FX, and see the games folder, all right? We usually have that empty. I want you to make that games folder the folder that you just created so the the zen folder that I created that's what I want you to make your games folder and then you just save it you, you hit the check mark here it'll save it in the emulators and you close it out that's all you have to do <clears throat> in pinball fx okay so now we're in games manager okay so now there's five games that we're adding, right? If you go to Games Manager right now, and we're going to pick our emulator, which would be Pinball FX. We go here, add new games. If you hit scan for new games, you're not going to you're not going to get anything. Okay? So what you have to do is you get the Num the file. These are the numbers because now all the tables are are now numbered. Okay, instead of outer, they have made it difficult for us. Instead of making it, you know, just the table name, they they make it numbered. But if you go to their website, it they tell you what it is. So here's um, on on the Zen website, Pacific Rim uh, table. It's one eighty six. And then you see the other new ones. And it's just table underscore, and then you put the number. Okay? So, all right. So I, ha I have one already in there. I have these three. So, all right. So I, I have to put 167. So 167 right here. That's the Xena Warrior Princess table. Okay? So I'm just going to click on this. Copy the name. All right, I'm not not touching anything else because that's the that's the correct name. All right, then I'm gonna go. I'm in my Zen folder, the one that we just created. Right. All you have to right click with your mouse. You're gonna go to New, and then create a rich text document. Okay. Thing's gonna pop up here. You're gonna put your mouse over it, right click, paste, left click, and it's gonna paste the table number we just copied. So you see that says right now it's table underscore one six seven, but it's because it it's a text file. It has the RTF at the end, right? What you're going to do is you're going to 
delete the RTF and the files, the game files that we have for Pinball FX, they end in PXP. So you're going to, after the, the dot, you're going to put PXP. All right? You're going to hit enter and you're going to get a warning. You're changing, the, you know, from a text file to a different file. It might not work. Click yes. All right. That's 167. All right, so I got one more to do. I'm going to do it right here. Table 36, that's the football table. Copy. New Rich. I have a New Rich document ready here, so I'm just going to copy. Paste. Bring, oh, got to rename that. Bring the mouse over here. Delete, delete the text part of it, the RTF, and add PXP. Enter. All right. We know. Okay. All right. Now that we have the, those folders, those files in there. You just close this out. Remember, this is the Zen folder that you created, right? Now, you're going to change this to Pinball FX. All right? Now, when you hit Scan for New Games, it should come up with the new games that we added. And there you go. So, you're going to click on... Select all. Add games. As you see, it added all the games. Okay. Now, remember, it's still it's still listed as the numbers. So we go back to the all games thing. You can see here's our here's our files. All right. So what you have to do is so I already did one I did Pacific Rim okay so let's do the next one table 167 now we know from the Zen uh, homepage that 167 is Xena Warrior Princess this is very hard to copy and paste <laughs> I get it all. Uh, might be missing an L, but I can always add it. Come on. Having a hard time here with the with the keyboard. I really don't want to have to type out Xena, Warrior Princess, Pinball. All right, it's not letting me copy it. I don't know why it's not letting me copy it, but... Let me do a, a one that's shorter, so I don't have to say I can type it with one hand. We'll do not. We'll do a Knight Rider. Knight Rider pinball. This probably is not going to let me copy neither uh, the text, but obviously with two hands you would just you can just write out uh, Knight Rider. But so that's table one seventy seven. So what you want to do is. It, uh, Pinball FX, it, it uses the table number as the ROM, okay? So, it's 177, so you have to, you have to do this. In the, in where it says ROM, you want to put the number of 
that they have with the table. So it's 177. All right. And then over here, you want to just change the screen name so that it doesn't say table, you know, 177. Let's see, did it copy it? There you go, Knight Rider Pinball. But it wouldn't copy Xenia Warrior Princess. <laughs> but you change the screen name so that it's, you know, Knight Rider Pinball. And it, it, it this way in Popper, it'll look okay. And then you do, you know, all your things. Uh, it'll be TV show, etc., all that stuff. Um, and then when you click on media, I already have the back glass and the wheel image is in there and as you see there's Knight Rider so that's how you add new tables to Popper without the export uh, I'm sorry the import file because these are two new it just came out so that no one made the the file you know to import and export these uh, these five games or whatever so you might be wondering, how do you do that? That's how you do that. You just create that folder. You make a text file. You erase the last three uh, letters that make it a text file and name it PXP. Popper thinks it's a game. It doesn't matter that it's not. It's because once you come into the game manager and you put the ROM number, Popper's going to go by that. It's going to launch... It's Popper launches the game by what you have here. So that's why you have to have that number where the ROM is. That's the main thing. You don't have to change the name. You don't got to do all this if you don't want to. Um, but you have to change that ROM name. And that's it. Then it's added to Popper. And, and that's how you import games that you don't have the, uh, the files for. All right. Have fun, guys. Peace.